An Oklahoma City man now sits in the Cleveland County Jail after he led officers on a high speed chase yesterday before Norman police shot him. He was released from the hospital today. News 9's Heather Hope has been following the case and joins us now with the latest. Carl, Norman police first responded to a reported suspicious person and vehicle on Northeast 168th Avenue. But when officers spotted the matching vehicle, the driver took off and led police on a pursuit. We don't encourage anyone to run from the police. But for whatever reason, this fellow decided to. 44-year-old Jimmy Wheeler led police on a 35-minute chase Saturday afternoon that started in Norman and ended only three miles away at 192nd and Rock Creek Road, where Wheeler wrecked his car. He failed to negotiate the term, crashed out. One thing led to another. Wheeler got out of his car, and Norman police said his suspicious behavior led officers to fire shots. The family living here in this home off 192nd Avenue said they didn't want to talk on camera, but were home during the entire time of the crash, said they heard a big boom and were scared as shots were fired. Wheeler suffered a gunshot wound to his torso and was taken to the hospital. You can't even see his car because it's about 50 yards down in the brush. Police think the rural roads played a part in ending the pursuit. Oh, I've seen wrecks there over the years, two or three maybe, where they just didn't quite get stopped in time. Jeremy Workman has lived in this rural part of East Cleveland County for 17 years and says Saturday's wreck was frightening. No worse than in the city. It's just that it's a big news here. You know, the concentration of people is not as big, so it gives us more to talk about. Wheeler was booked in the Cleveland County Jail this evening for eluding a police officer. He already had two active Oklahoma County arrest warrants for the alleged crimes of robbery with a firearm and possession of a firearm after a felony conviction. Heather Hope, News 9. All right, Heather, thank you. Both Norman police officers involved are in good condition and are on routine administrative assignment pending the investigation.